legend and noted local radio and TV personality, dead at 72 CLEVELAND, Ohio, nearly 50 years ago, on his self-titled first solo album, Michael Stanley offered a plaintive view about mortality Here's a song for a friend soon Gunny a friend whose life and mind became entwined leaving soon for a lifetime leaving part of you behinstantly, who passed away Friday at the age of 72 from lung cancer, leaves more than a small part of himself behind in his native Cleveland and a gaping hole in the city where he was a rock and roll king and a much-loved, award-winning radio and television personality. Osei Stanley was part of Cleveland's fabric as anything but a cliché. It was the home he never left, and a place the man dubbed the Cuyahoga Messiah by last call Cleveland, carried with him whenever he'd tour the country to play Heartland Rock hits such as He Can't Love You, Lover, Falling in Love Again, and My Town. I had three pretty good, separate careers with music, the television, the radio, Stanley told the Plain Dealer in 2019, before receiving the Cleveland Arts Prize Lifetime Achievement Award. Did we accomplish everything we wanted to? No. But we accomplished things we never thought of. I've been making a living doing something I love. This is what I dreamed about as a teenager, and I ended up doing it. Stanley's family issued a statement Saturday via his social media pages. Michael battled lung cancer for seven months with the same strength and dignity he carried throughout his life. He will always be remembered as a loving father, brother, husband, a loyal friend, and the leader of one of Cleveland's most successful rock bands. Fellow Ohio rocker and longtime friend Joe Walsh, who played on Stanley's second solo album and covered his song Rosewood Bitters, said, Michael was the king of Cleveland, and of course the Michael Stanley band became a Midwest powerhouse. Michael has always been a master at the craft of songwriting. His songs have a way of getting in your head and became songs you end up singing to yourself over and over from then on. His music will always be part of me in my entire career. I have never seen another artist as patient and polite as Michael was with fans, Belkin said. Backstage, pre- and post-show meet and greets, dinners and benefits, I saw him interact with thousands of supporters over the years, and he was consistently pleasant and gracious. Always. Every time. All the way through the entire career, I could never get him a monster hit record that always pissed me off, said Simchik, noting that other notable producers, including Mutt Lang, Don Gemin and Eddie Kramer, couldn't get Stanley over the hump either. I was like, damn, Bob, Seeger, sure busted out. How come we can't get Michael too? He was huge in the Midwest, Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh. We just couldn't bust him out of there. Former manager Sparrow added that, Stanley, was so accessible. He was involved with all the sports teams at one point or another. He was the one guy who, if there was ever a fundraiser, I knew I could always call him and say, could you just come by, and he would never say no. When you sell out Blossom four nights in a row, you don't have to be that accessible, but he was. His Heartland music resonated with legions of listeners, and his concerts set attendance records and took on mythic proportions. Even more importantly, Michael's songs spoke to our hearts. As fans we adored and revered him, and in return he loved us right back. The energy of his music and its ability to bring people together helped to make Cleveland the rock and roll capital of the world, and it galvanized the community to rally together and make our city the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We will miss Michael dearly.